likes it. Yeah. For the Baker family, yeah. life can be divided into two parts. <laughs> Before honor and with honor. He's so good. Michelle Baker says that before this lovable black lab, it was like... Drowning in an ocean. And somebody throws a life preserver out to you. Honor was a life preserver who swam to us. A lifeline who helped return her husband, Wade Baker, to his family. The Gulf War veteran had struggled with post-traumatic stress disorder nearly a quarter century. Just stepping outside was a struggle. I could go to a football game, but the next week was going to be ruined. I was going to be agitated, um, frustrated, and just uh, an SOB. Baker threatened to kill himself several times. Honor gave him strength to be a dad again and a husband. It's not the meds. It's not the therapy. It's just every day living with him. But after that 2013 interview for the Des Moines charity that trained Honor, Baker relapsed. This summer, he dropped out of treatment. On August 19th, Baker, who never left without Honor, locked his companion at home and called 911 from a nearby church. There's somebody here with a gun. I think he shot four people already. But there was no shooter, only Baker, holding a shotgun, waiting for the police to arrive. The incident was declared a suicide by cop. At the memorial service, Honor tried to climb into the open casket with Wade, faithful to the end. If Honor hadn't come along, this would have happened a long time ago. He gave the boys more years with their dad. Even though Honor was Baker's dog, he was the property of pause and effect and could have been placed with another veteran or disabled child. But group founder Nicole Shoemate couldn't do that. And I would never do anything to hurt any of them. That was a gift to Wade. And to his boys. They can't hug their dad. So it's the next best thing. A family and their dog helping each other to heal. I love you. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Clyde, North Carolina.